In one of the most prestigious kingdoms of Greece, a boy was born, the son of the king with his young and beautiful queen. However, the birth of the heir to the royal house was not something auspicious at all. In his visit to Apollo's temple, the king was told a prophecy in which the birth of his son would be the cause of his death and the ruin of his entire family. The king, convinced that something had to be done, persuaded the queen that, for the good of all, the child's life would have to meet its end. The baby is delivered to a servant of the king, who would have to take the infant to Mount Scytheron. The boy had his feet pierced and a rope passed through them. The boy had to be hung on a tree by his feet, allowing the beasts to do whatever they wanted with him. However, the servant could not leave the poor child in that place and handed him to an unknown shepherd who was passing by with his cattle. The shepherd untied the child's feet and treated his wounds. He baptized the baby as Oedipus, which meant the one with swollen feet. The shepherd, in turn, was extremely poor, and since he did not have conditions to raise the child, decided he took him to the king of Corinth. Polybus and his wife had no children, and therefore decided to adopt Oedipus as their own son. Oedipus grew, and he was beautiful, strong, and deeply astute, and he lived happily as the crown prince of Corinth. However, during a celebration, one of the noblemen insulted Oedipus, saying that he was not worthy to be the heir to the throne of Corinth, since he was a foreigner. Oedipus questioned King Polybus, wanting to know the truth, but the latter told him not to mind the words of a drunk. Oedipus, unhappy with the king's response, decided to find the truth in the Oracle of Delphi. Despite the insistence, the oracle refused to answer his questions, but prophesied a terrible future for the young boy. You shall kill your own father, marry your mother, and leave a shameful descent. Oedipus was dismayed by such a dreadful prophecy and decided to leave Corinth to avoid killing his beloved father and taking his mother as a wife. The young man, disheartened, wandered through the roads of Greece until, at a crossroads, he met a gentleman in a wagon accompanied by his servants. The road was narrow and one of the servants threw Oedipus off the road to allow the passage of his lord's cart the young prince, outraged, hit the servant with his cane. The lord and his servants grabbed their weapons and advanced against Oedipus. Oedipus was surrounded by aggressors, but his strength, agility, and youth allowed the youngster to defeat all his opponents. The lord and his servants were dead. Only one of the servants managed to escape. Oedipus, victorious, felt a strong sense of power after winning a battle against several opponents. The Prince of Corinth continued to wander through Greece when he was faced with the news that a terrible monster was terrorizing the region of the Kingdom of Thebes. Oedipus, feeling empowered after his recent victory, went to Thebes to confront the fearsome Sphinx and add his name to the Pantheon of Heroes.